Hey, what's going on? You know, I did a story a, a while back and I showed y'all the camera on Bridgeview, which is AKA Bayside, the area where my son was killed. My son came out of that apartment there. It was supposed to be a, the first officer responding. His car would be sitting in front of the dumpster. I'm in the position of the a responding officers. My son was killed. Let me go around that building. Let me put it back on the regular view. He was killed around the corner on that building right there. Now, they want you to believe that the cops from this car, one being from the driver's side, he went from the driver's side to the back of the car, which I reenacting it. I'm reenacting it. The other two officers went in this hallway and they fired shots, 11 shots from this direction, going straight down that way. They want you to believe that he, he got shot around that corner. And like I said, the camera view of it right there, I tell the whole story, you know. And the other officer was shooting here, 11 shots from this direction. My son ran from 105, we zooming on that. The over here, you know, we parked it for a second. Nah, let me get it back to the regular view. Cause I went to the area where the other officer's car would be first responding officer the dumpster wasn't here I mean this wasn't here my son was killed over here you can see the roses like I said that's around the building he came out of this building the other officer's car was would be right where I'm at right now let me shrink that down again y'all bear with me he was killed over here you can see right here on the ground now I'm standing in the neighborhood by the building this will be a long video now the two cars are right here there's no way he could hit him in this car from around the corner for him to drop uh, right about here so the shots had to come from the same building he was in now mind you it was the other officer when they found him he was on the ground down there where that truck where that wiener truck was at he was right there now they want you to believe that my son ran in this position here he ran from this apartment around this police car, across this street, to where they dropped them here. Now mind you, those cars, those officers were shooting the shot. You can look at the body cams that they got on site and understand, hold well, on, let me go back to that. That's the camera we trying to get released from the city, but then still not releasing and it's running on the statute of limitations come this December. I'm gonna put this on YouTube and I'm gonna break it down a couple of times and if you ain't got a chance, my son name is Jason Cooper. You go back in there and you look at the video. Cause he ran, let me turn it around. He would have to run from this apartment, past all the cars that was in the parking lot, around this police car that was sitting right up under that camera. And the other officer's car sitting right where that golf cart is at to cross here where they dropped him at. And they couldn't have shot him. If they went the golf cart is at, there's no way they could have shot him through that building without bullets going through that window or something. So y'all explain to me what happened and we just trying to get to the bottom of it. So y'all stay tuned. I have been meant to come do and do this video. So I edit it's gonna be a little shorter than what y'all see and I'll break it down. And the full length video is will be on uh, my YouTube, but I'ma shorten the video up so y'all can see actually the, uh, what I'm saying to you. It don't make sense. And then a witness from the apartment, let me see if I can get a shot of that. The actual apartment that my son came from, I shot it at. Cause he would've been coming, my son was upstairs in that apartment. He went back, came down the stairs, and the witness from the apartment would be in that second one to, to the bottom. He said he saw two cops position, like where this white car is at, and where this gray car is at. So they had to beat on my son the whole time. Excuse me, because the dumpster's here. So my son would've had to come out of these apartments from upstairs, and that's where the incident took place. Ran downstairs, come across this parking lot here. I'm going in the way he, direction he went and run around this pole because the police cars are sitting right here and ran to that spot where you see the flowers at to get dropped. Now, where was the first responding officer? I don't want to spend it yet. Where was the first responding officer that was found later down on the ground? And where was he at when all this was coming? And mind you, you got the officers that were sitting up there at that open apartment they shot 11 shots in this direction so there's no way they could have hit my son in his head and his leg 
where he got dropped at over here. The shot had to come from the same building he ran out of. And that's what we're trying to get to the bottom of, but they won't release that camera footage right there. That's where the problem is coming in at. So if you're watching this video, please, if you know anybody that can help me and the family get the answers to this question, these questions is just get closure. Yeah, my son did have a gun, so let me state that. But that's still not no reason to kill him when he was fleeing from the scene. Cause he they saying they they saying that he shot an officer with a Draco from that same balcony that I'm showing you and a plastic name tag was to stop that Draco bullet from hitting them. That's impossible. But y'all stay tuned. Watch the full video. I'm gonna break it down on YouTube in a couple of segments. And as always, I love y'all and be safe. And my son's name is Jason Latroy Cooper. For those who don't who didn't uh, who don't follow me and just getting involved with the story. But I love y'all. Be safe, man.